Hi guys, just having a little go at one of those projects that's been on my list for years, I would think now. Potato battery, which we'll check in a minute, see what we're getting out of it, compared to a boiled potato battery. So that potato's in there uh, boiling up. My wife says somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes because it's just a small potato, probably only about 10 minutes. But I'll put the camera on the tripod and we'll see what we're getting out of this one at the moment. Alright, what we've got at the moment is an ordinary potato. I've got a bit of copper there. It was actually a copper tube that I split down the side and hammered flat. And then here we've got three zinc plated screws that are just commoned up together so we've got the total um, surface area of three screws and then my meter which for some reason is moving around a little bit it ought to say zero but it's wavering a bit uh, let's see if we connect that to one leg That to the other. What we'd like to know is, is that enough to drive a little electric motor? This is out of one of my solar robot kits. It's got a little gearbox in there. So if I just connect onto there. I'm only using it because it's a convenient way of Connecting up a motor. Right. Nothing's happening. So, we'll wait for another five minutes or so. And then we'll try the parboiled battery. Uh, parboiled battery. Parboiled potato. While we're waiting, these are the screws I'm using bright zinc so that just means they're steel screws with zinc plating and I've just got three of them ready there just wrap some copper wire around them and I'll push them straight into the potato when it's finished boiling so that'll be the same as the three that are in there but I've only got one copper plate so I'll have to pull that one out and push it in the other one that should have been long enough for the potato, so I'll go and drain the water off it and see what we can do. Obviously it's going to be a bit hot to play with. Let's see what we can do. Movement. Can we see that? Can we pick that up? Yeah, it's very slow and that's hot. <laughs> but it moved, didn't it? Stop now. What have I done? Huh. Well, we definitely had a bit of movement for a second then. It's not much, but... It's moving. Oh, I'm breaking my potato now. Yeah. 
we've had it, haven't we? So, next time, we'll try a bigger potato. Or we'll not boil it for quite so long so it doesn't actually fall apart.